Is. And who's next? Donald. Yes, hello. Hello, Donald. Hello. Uh, I'd like to complain, actually, about this programme. Hello? Where are you from? From Gala Shields. So one of the first few people we have on from Gala Shields, and you, you know, wind you. I uh, know, uh, I'm not wind you, and I'd just like to complain about the programme, because normally at this time we get uh, Ken, uh, Ken Haynes and Radio Borders. Yeah. Well, and tonight you haven't. Well, I know, that's why I'm wanting to complain to you about it, because we don't want this kind of thing. How do you know? What do you mean, how do I know? I've been listening to it. I don't want it. Ha, well, you haven't heard all of it yet, have you? No, but I've heard enough to know that we're not wanting it on Radio Borders. But you see, you get Ken Haynes other nights, don't you? Yes, and we want him tonight. We don't want you this You don't kind want of him thing. tonight. We know what you want. I know what you want. And you do not want Ken Haynes tonight. He's it's not going to be on. He's off. Excuse He's me. gone. I, I'll tell you what we want. I know what we want. You know, I've you... listened to Radio Borders since it <clears> came <throat> on. It's a very good station. Oh, Pardon? It's a, I've listened to Radio Borders since it came on. It's yeah. a very good station. And people like you are spoiling it. How am I spoiling it then? You're spoiling it with your own thing. You're spoiling this show by coming on this show and bloody whinging. You, you are I, shoving... I've told How? you, excuse me. I Where are you from? You, I've told you already. Now I'm listen, mind you. your I manners. A, 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 mind a, a, your manners. I have a legitimate complaint. Yes, well wait until I give you your time to voice that complaint. In the meantime, mind your manners. <laughs> We do not want the people of Cumbria and Central Scotland around the borders thinking that everyone uh, who listens to Radio Borders are complete dickheads, do we? Excuse me, I am no dickhead. This is a legitimate complaint. I will not be spoken to like that. And I will find out where you're broadcasting well, from. We're broadcasting at this moment from Carlisle. From Carlisle? I'm yes, that's in England. Well, are you an Englishman? Are you an Englishman? Personally, yes, I am well, an Englishman. Well, I men that way. They don't want this kind of thing on Radio Borders. Now, I've said that, and I don't understand why you keep giving it it. Do you know what, what I mean? Why I keep giving you it? It's only been on for a short while. Well, this is the very enough. first night. We've heard enough of it. I'm, I'm wanting we to know what's happened to the program. I, I've sacked him. Ken Haynes is gone. He's no, finished. Have you? Excuse He's me. He's gone. He's not on on a Friday night any longer. It's me, John Myers, on Radio Borders and on CFM. Now but you get music all the other time. Yes, one one, one moment, I'll let you get your word in. We have music every other time. Tonight, though, it has been my duty to come on Radio Borders and educate you on what a phone-in is. Now, a phone-in is where we invite you to come on and you can discuss anything. Now, it's after 10 o'clock at night, we have plain speaking here, and we tell people what uh, I think, or some people come on and tell us what they think. But if I think they're a dickhead, I tell them they're a dickhead. I beg your pardon. It's as simple as that. Now, you come on with a complaint that Ken Haynes, the guy who's normally on the Friday night, and a lovely man he is too. Yes, a much nicer man than you, a man who's got manners. Well, have, you, have you ever talked to him? Have you ever talked to him? Well, I haven't talked to him. Well, how him. do you know he's got manners then? I've listened to him and he's very nice. Very nice. Well, and he, he may be on the air. Me. He you may be. You could take a leaf out of his book. Um, oh, come on. You could. You could. Listen, you rang up this phone in. And all you can do, uh, from the first night, uh, as a listener to Radio Borders, the first thing you can do is come on a bloody whinge. You've asked people for plain speaking. Now, I'm plain speaking. Go the on, people then. of Radio Borders do not want to hear this kind of program. Have you done a and survey? The sooner, the Have you done a survey? You it, the better. Have you done a survey? Is this the first program you've done? Have you Have done you a... no experience of it? <laughs> Have you no experience? <laughs> what a Because class. I'll tell you... Hey, I'll tell have you, you done a survey? I will tell you something. Oh, so you do not want this. Listen, have you done a survey? Hey! Have you done a survey of up. people who listen, listen to radio I dare you ask people to phone into the program. The radio is something you listen to. You shouldn't have to phone in. You're trying to get a presenter on the cheap. Listen. That's what you're trying to do. Listen, hang on a minute. You see, when I, when, when I say this is a phone-in, you see, the phone-in needs two people to have a discussion. Okay? Most people that come on are intelligent people. I'll make an exception in your case, but most, most people that come on this show are quite intelligent people. Some people are prats. You're not some capable people, of... Hang on, you're just hang on one second. Like you're not capable of having oh. an intelligent discussion. Well, hey, listen, well, not with someone like you, I'm not, because obviously it's quite hard to get through to the grey matter. Now, listen, I'm... I beg you, I have got a very legitimate point. 
which is what? The point is that we don't want this kind of thing on Who the radio. Who said so? Hey? Who said so? I have said so. Are you so you know, you, you use... Are you deaf? You use the expression we. The expression is the people in the borders. Right. How do you know the people in the borders do not want this sort of phone in on their radio station? Because when we put it on, we don't expect to hear an Englishman, and especially oh, an idiot, to boot. An idiot. People, an idiot like it's you, people who like has you. no manners, and who can't speak to people properly. Where is this survey that you've done? What survey? Well, you say I no. don't need a survey. God almighty. I have lived in the borders. My family have lived in the borders. No wonder tourism's going down. Down with prats like you, I, I don't tell you. need a survey. How do you know? How do you know? Listen, let, let me just start again. How many people are in your house now? Myself. You live on your own? Yes. So, how do you know then, if you live on your own, that the people who listen to Radio Borders, and there's hundreds and thousands of them, don't want to listen to this phone-in? Because they are from the Borders and they'll have the same idea as me! Oh, so you're the Borders police, are you? No, I'm you're the You're the police for the listeners of Radio Borders. I am telling you, you Go mark my words! You mark my words! About what? That people do not want the likes of you on this program. But you've got, you, you can't back that up, can you? Of course I can back it up. You wait. You just, just said you it. live on your own. It, listen, I know a lot of people. Yes, and you haven't spoken to them tonight, though, have but you? I will. You mark my words. I will speak to oh, them. Oh, you're, you're honestly, you're, it's, it's people like you that stop tourism growing in the area because they come up against complete prats like you. And, and, and you are the... You are, I beg your pardon! It's I beg your pardon! No, no, that's three times you have said, I beg your pardon. If you say it one more time, you're off because you're a prat. No, I mean that. I beg your pardon! That's it. Off he goes.